Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. So uh, this, this exercise is to create a little bit more mobility in the deep um, hip joint, right? In the hip capsule itself. So I'm set up here on the reformer with one red spring and I've got the loop wrapped um, around my upper thigh all the way up into the groin area. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to kind of traction that femur head a little bit, give it a little bit of space with the loop and the spring. And then from here, um, I'm gonna send my hips back as the carriage comes forward, trying to keep length in my spine. And then I'll come back and I can go a little bit past 90 degrees. So just this gentle movement of the carriage and the spring and the tension on the strap is helping to um, floss that uh, hip joint of my right side. Uh, and you can work this with a neutral femur. You can also work external rotation. So I'm going to take my lower leg and place the foot on the opposite shin. And as I move back and forward again, I'm getting a little bit of a different stretch in external rotation here. You want to make sure that your client doesn't come into um, flexion in their lumbar spine, that they keep their length. And then you could also, which is really important for many of our clients, is to work the internal rotation. And so to get that part of the hip joint, you would sweep the shin out past the rail or in the direction of the rail. And then do that same slow movement of the carriage reaching forward, the pelvis hips sliding back. And so we're just getting, again, a little bit of traction in the joint as we move through those three ranges of motion. And so doing it both on both sides, you may have a client who is more um, externally biased in one hip and internally biased on the other. So you can kind of um, pick and choose which ranges of motion you want to work on um, for each hip if needed. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.